Two weeks ago, I worked 63 hours. And last week, I worked five and a half. Guess which week I got more stuff done? Last week, but how? With the new breakthroughs in technology, specifically AI, a lot of the work that I was doing could actually be automated by a robot. Not with AI alone, that's just not gonna steal my job. That's a very important distinction. But because I spent so much time getting good at using the tool of AI, it was able to cut out almost my entire work week. But is it just in a job like mine where AI can help and cut out so much time? No, it's every job. You just have to break down into its most basic form exactly what it is that you actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. You could be a pilot, a personal trainer, or a software developer. Here's how I was able to drastically cut down so much of the time spent on building videos for this YouTube channel. AI helped me every step of the way from thumbnail, title, to script writing, editing, you name it. I even use ChatGPT to get inspiration for what video topics to even create videos about. I don't simply ask ChatGPT what's gonna go viral. It wouldn't know how to answer that question. Instead, I'd start by asking a question like, hey, ChatGPT, can you list off 20 interesting stats about how AI will affect jobs? As you can see, it gave me 20 cool, very interesting stats that I think would make good videos about. But these two specifically stood out more than the rest. How AI could increase productivity. Not to mention how great two and a half billion would sound in a YouTube title. I can see it now, how I went from working two and a half billion hours per week to five using AI. Problem was, I don't work two and a half billion hours a week, I work like 50. But either way, you can see how asking the right questions to ChatGPT makes it so that you get much better, more useful results. That same process can be used to create titles, descriptions, and scripts. The AI writing tools have made my life a thousand times easier and there are so many to choose from. There's ChatGPT, Jasper, Phrase, Hypotenuse. All these writing tools are so good, but they all work only as well as how you use them. And that's using the right prompts to get the right responses. If you join the OpenAI Discord, you'll see an entire channel just dedicated to giving you the best prompts to get the best answers. This is a place where a bunch of users that are loving this technology are experimenting, asking better questions, and just giving feedback so we all can enjoy and make better questions. Again, you can think of AI like having your own personal intern. It's gonna produce a rough draft of something. You're gonna give it tweaks, some feedback, but eventually, boom, you're done. The intern or the AI carried out a lot of the legwork. You still had to do some work, but it took you one tenth of the time and you got the same final result. So for me specifically, once I found a video topic that I wanted to create a YouTube video about using ChatGPT, well, now I need to find some video titles. So I just ran it, asked ChatGPT. Again, these are not the final titles, but it's a great place for me to start. I liked how AI can give you an extra 40 hours a week, but then I did decide to reframe it a little bit to how I went from working 50 hours a week to five. Personally, I just like that better. It's more of you following along with my journey, having something you can relate to, but AI will get there eventually. Once I have the title, once I have the video topic, I can then ask the AI to write a video script for me. And again, it's really just gonna give you a really solid rough draft of where to start and save you a ton of time. It's not gonna completely do it for you, especially because a huge part of YouTube videos isn't just the topics and the solid information, it's the personality, it's the humor, but more importantly, it's the storytelling and the AI just isn't a good storyteller quite yet. I don't think an AI is gonna be able to write an entire script for me. Well, at least until I have a large enough video file to feed it to the AI and he'll learn my style and all that. Just look at what happened with Graham Stephan when he made a video about this just last week. He actually said, hey, can you write me a YouTube script in the style of Graham Stephan? which is hilarious, especially for the fact that the tool actually made a joke in his style, which chef's kiss. But besides script writing, you know what else is a very big factor in being a good YouTuber, creating good videos and clickable content? Well, that's thumbnails. The whole goal of the thumbnail and title is just to get the user to click. If they don't click the video, they'll never get to hear this awesome script that ChatGPT wrote. I'm not a great graphic designer. Obviously, that's why I outsource my thumbnails. You know who's a really good artist and creates amazing work of art? AI. Just look at all this art that was created by a computer. Unfortunately, there's a big difference between art and YouTube thumbnails because look at what happened when I asked, hey, can you make me a thumbnail? What the hell is this? Not quite on the same page, but so far no one's been able to harness the power of AI and use it to create a great tool to create great thumbnails. If you end up making it, you got a customer in me, just leave a comment down below and I will pay you 
for that tool. Anyways, after the title, the thumbnail, and the script, it's time to record. The AI tool I use while recording is called Descript. Descript is a suite of tools focused around editing and audio. It basically transcribes your entire video and allows you to edit your video from the script. Find a sentence that doesn't provide much value, delete it, and Descript also deletes that part of the video. What makes the tool even more valuable to me is that it cuts up the video. There are AI softwares that'll edit entire videos, but they're just not anywhere near advanced enough for me to actually hand this part over to a computer. I do still have an edit, I do still have a thumbnail person, but I save a lot of money, a lot of time because I give them a much better version. It's easier to work with, it's already cut up. I already have an idea of the thumbnail. So yes, it's not perfect, doesn't do all for me, but it saved a ton of time and money. While I am a big fan of Descript, there's a ton of other tools from AI that helps with editing video audio. One of which I'm sure you've actually already seen commercials for. Google recently released a feature allowing you to cut images outside of photos, you know, like remove objects, backgrounds that are unwanted from your pictures. And I found an AI tool that can do the same thing and it's called InPainting. InPainting is one of a suite of video editing tools from Runway. It can remove objects from pictures and videos. And this shit works. The pros are even using this. How Runway took the late show edits from five hours to five minutes. Oh my God, they're kind of stealing the title for their article from this YouTube video. That's messed up. I guess AI video editing software could help me edit videos faster, but honestly, I'd rather focus on coming up with video ideas and titles for me. Again, the AI software isn't 100% hands off yet, but it can be used to save hundreds, if not dozens of hours a week. These are only the ways that AI can help a YouTuber, which is what I am. Creating this video has helped me realize that this could help a ton of other industries as well. AI has copywriting and graphic design capabilities. Tools like ChatGPT, Jasper, and others we mentioned before can all do pretty much all your writing for you. You can use AI tools like Ad Creative to create ads for marketing campaigns and socials. Becoming a graphic designer has never been easier with platforms like design.ai and Microsoft's designer. Someone with no experience in this field could pretty much create a masterpiece. Everybody has jobs that can be automated with AI, but people that learn how to master the tool of AI will never be replaced by these tools. It will always be human plus AI beats human or AI every single time. That's why you're watching these videos. You are becoming a pro at using these tools. Plenty of other stuff will get automated. So you wanna be able to know how to use these tools first. Paintings can get automated, web design, coding, health and fitness, recipes, Excel spreadsheet creating, interior design, customer support. If you have any of those roles, that can already be done using AI. You can even have AI help you pick up chicks by generating pickup lines. Everyone knows that pickup lines work every time. The point is AI is going to leak into every single industry, including yours. So if you don't get on the train now, you're gonna get left behind. Why not start taking advantage now and leveraging this tool, leveraging this power to save you a ton of time every single week, be 50X more productive and just be happier. What are some ways that you've used AI to become more productive?